Hey guys, uh, welcome. Yeah, so this is the first of many uh, fun, challenging geometry problems I'll show you. And this problem once appeared in a magazine called Scientific America, and it was titled The Ridiculous Problem. And um, you're given that the length from A to P is equal to 10, and then you're asked to find the perimeter of triangle A, B, C here. And um, you also know that Q, R, and P are points of tangency. And knowing all this, first, uh, you should note that uh, B, R, and C are collinear points. It's easy enough to prove um, that B, R, and C are collinear points, uh, given that R is a tangent to the circle, which, we, which we've already said. Um, all right, cool. And of course, B and C are uh, endpoints. So I, I'm saying this to say that like, a, B, R, C is not a quadrilateral, it's a triangle, if you want to call it with like four letters. Um, but anyway, uh, the solution to this problem, uh, now that I've given you enough time to think about it, uh, is that the perimeter of triangle A, B, C is 20. And here's how. Um, the entire solution heavily relies on one theorem in geometry that says that tangents to a circle from the same common external point have to have equal length. So from that theorem, we see that the length of uh, AP has to be equal to the length of AQ. All right, so note that. And also note that uh, we can view uh, B here as the common external point to the tangents BP and BR. And uh, yeah, that was a little poor, but okay, we'll live, something like that, okay? And uh, symmetrically on the other side, we see that uh, C is a common external point to the tangents uh, CQ and CR. And that is why the perimeter of triangle ABC is 20. And I shouldn't have to say more, but in case you need it, here's what I'm saying, in other words. So instead of going from A to P, go from A to B, and then turn around and go from B to R, and that'd be the same as going from A to P. And then do the same thing on the other side. Now we already said that the length of um, AP, the length of the segment AP is 10, and so that concludes um, this solution, yeah? All right, cool. Let me know if you have more questions. Take care.